Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, for today's little discussion, rant, whatever you want to call it, it's more of a discussion than a rant by a long shot, but for today's video, I actually do want to talk about something that's a little bit of a... I guess you could call it a serious topic. A lot of people generally have a tendency to blame entertainment for the change in character of individuals. However, there are studies out there that actually prove those statements wrong. But theoretically, what if I were to say that both ways were technically right? Let me go into a little bit more detail to explain what I mean. So a lot of parents to prevent kids from being on things for too long they say that they'll rot their brains or they'll change how they are technically speaking they're not wrong but to the degree they over exaggerate it that's where they're wrong like for example i don't know say you have a gamer like myself who's presented with mathematical equation before playing anything and you know there's like a break from school for a while and during the school break that person plays I'm just throwing this out there Call of Duty because that's really well known right now um, at least where I am it is so you know, the guy plays Call of Duty. And then is presented with a math equation based off what they had, uh, he had already learned. He or she had already learned. Would they know it or no? Well, realistically, yeah. But the thing is, that's not particularly what... The parents who say the statement, it rots your brain, or it changes you, that's not what it, they're, they mean. And I've noticed this from personal experience. Or at least from what I analyzed. It changes a person as a whole. Whether it's for the better or for worse really depends on the person. But... Like, let's... I'm going to use uh, Aaron, one of the three members of the channel who... He rarely ever shows up, but he is a big part of it. Um, Aaron is actually a programmer and is trying to run his own business. He's trying to do Kickstarters, all that kind of stuff. Uh, this is not a promotion video, by the way. I'm just using it as an example because it's the best example I could come up with. Every now and then, about twice a week, I'd say, Aaron and I gather and will play drastically difficult games like Dark Souls or several different types of games for the Soulsborne series sometimes courtesy of other individuals um, like a co-worker of mine who was kind enough to get a Elden Ring it was just like you haven't played it I'll buy it for you for you but it has to be that I'm like here I'll show you got it I mean I'm not a thief, so, you know, that was going to happen anyway, given that offer. But anyway, I digress. Examples like that. But where am I going with this? Well, Aaron's a programmer. That's what he does for his business. Programs certain types of programs. He hasn't finalized anything yet. But... I am looking forward to seeing where this company, his company goes. Um, kind of like the comp the hopefully, in the long run, successful company of this nostalgia train. Uh, hopefully, his both company type things are able to shoot for the stars in a way. But how in any way does this have to do with gaming? Well, like I said, he and I gather. Generally, it's usually twice a week. 
I'm sure at some point it'll have to be less given our age and where we're getting to as far as like families and stuff goes. Um, but as of right now, it does stand at two times a week. So these two times, we got it. And we play these things. Here's the thing. For him, it's actually good. It changes him for the better because he gets to analyze and practice and analysis and any kind of frustrations that he has towards the programming thing he does, he could take it out on this. But then there are circumstances like my own. It's kind of a neutralized circumstance, or maybe it is worse. I don't know. Uh, people with personal life could probably answer this as a yes or no kind of thing. But anyway, what happens? Well, I do the same thing, but it definitely, I don't particularly think, and this is me hitting, hating on myself just for the sake of, sake of example, I don't think it does for the better. I think it just, it's either neutral, stays the same as what I was beforehand, or I mean for some people it might be me going for the worse, I don't know. It really depends on the person. But this is just a prime example of entertainment in general. So many people out there have said this. Video games is more hated on. Video games are more hated on. English. But media in general has the same kind of negative impact at times. Don't watch this movie or show. It's so bad for you. The last show I heard of that did the same thing was actually a show called 13 Reasons Why. It's based off a book, for those who don't know, by the way. It's a good show, but it's really dark, and it's not for the faint of heart. If you cannot handle certain things, you shouldn't be watching that show. And even the show said so, but people were dumb enough to watch it and disregard the warnings to the point where they had to stop making it. Was this the main reason? I don't remember. But this was definitely part of it if it wasn't the main reason. It's not... The sad part of all this, the point I'm trying to make, is that, sure, yes, media does have that impact. But realistically, it depends on the strength of mind, strength of will, and the choice to watch the kind of media in the first place. In reality, yeah, for some, not all, some, it is impactful like that. However, it is not the media's fault. It is that who chooses to watch it willingly. But realistically, this has probably said been said thousands of times. Okay, somebody's messaging me. Who is no, of course not. It's YouTube. It's YouTube. Anyway, like I was saying, I just I don't like it when people just go up and say Oh, this is bad for you. How? Oh, it's just cause. It's got this show and this show and this show. Well, then don't watch it. Oh, but it's still bad for you. Come on. It's not the show that's bad. It's the action of watching the show willingly when you can't handle it that's bad. Same thing with video games or movies. Confront it and interact with it. That choice, if you can't handle it, that is what's bad not the actual entertainment itself. It's There's a reason the ratings exist. The ESRB exists in the case of the United States. And it depends on where you're from, whether it's what it is. But in the case of the United States, it's the ESRB. Um, they make those ratings for a reason. For heaven's sake, they have a separate individual website to tell parents, this is why this is rated this. How about instead of judging the show, go look at that. Or judging the game or the movie, go look at that. Now, under some circumstances, sometimes it's different. 
I'm going to cover this really quick. Some movies or TV shows have flashing lights, which can cause migraines, headaches, or seizures. It can be bad, but it gives the same response. If you think it's going to happen to you, simple. Don't watch it. Don't hate on the show and say it's bad for you. Don't watch it. If you think it's going to be bad, you don't watch it. Be your own judge. Now, if it's your kids, I get it. Some people do that. But there are several people out there who will tell other same age individuals not to go watch or play something because it's bad. They don't give a legitimate reason. They just say it's bad. Come on. Like video games. I'll go back to that example. Because the... The reason I'm using media and video games, for example, is the most in this is because those are the ones that happen the way most often by a long shot. But again, video games. Epileptic seizures. It used to be a case where that would, they used to cause that frequently. This was actually founded, for those who don't know, this was realized through a game called Pokemon Red and Blue. Ever since that, there have been warnings up saying, yeah, don't, if you have epileptic seizures, Get a note from a doctor, or be cautious. Basically, play at your own risk. It stopped around 2017, 2018. Because by that time, the stuff that did cause it looked to the keen eye so much like a generic animation that it really didn't matter. But any time between that, it did. Because you could actually still see the pixels of them processing. That didn't stop people from going, it's bad for you. Why they did it though? This is where it differentiates, differenti differentiates from film. There is a giant rumor out there that goes, oh, games cause people to act blank way. I mean, depends on the person, first of all, how weak or strong-minded they are. But second of all, it depends on what they play. Third of all, though, once again, it retracts to the whole idea of if you really think it's going to do that, don't play that very one specific title. For example, I'm going to bring back Call of Duty. That was one of Call of Duty, Doom, Halo, basically first person shooters that require you to shoot a bunch of zombies. Zombie-based games in general. You have to shoot other what used to be living humans. The rumor went about that this caused individuals to actually shoot people IRL. That's not true at all. That has been psychologically proven wrong. But even still, that doesn't change the idea that for some people, if they're weak-minded enough, playing certain games can make them think differently. That is the truth in that rumor. Playing some games actually can make individuals think differently than what they normally do. Sometimes it can make them change. Whether for the better or for the worse really depends. That's why I gave the example I did earlier about Aaron and I. It was more of a nod towards him and me burning myself kind of example. Was it realistic? Partially, yes, but not entirely. In his case, it was realistic. In mine, it wasn't. Like I said, not entirely. But I digress. Going back to what I was saying about it, though, it's, it's a case of people over-exaggerate things without actually trying it. Now, this isn't the case with everyone. My dad, for example. He's the one who got me into video games in the first place. He bought me the first console I ever played, and I loved it. I think it caught off of the fact that he used to play The Legend of Zelda, the original Legend of Zelda, with his brother. He didn't do it often, but he did do it. And it was good. It, it, it was, in a way, very good for me. Why? The system he got me, three systems, the Xbox, well, four, actually. The Xbox, GameCube, PlayStation 2, and the Nintendo 64. 
something that I've always reminisced and I've always been grateful for, especially where it's led me now. None of what he got me, none of them impacted my personality in any negative way. Why? Well, I didn't let them, first of all, and I enjoyed them. I acknowledged the fact that's all they were. They were just games. That's it. The thing about it, saying a video game, or a movie, for that matter, or TV show, which is basically a shorter, longer version of a movie, it's, it's basically a movie cut in parts. Saying any of the three of the following impacts your person, everyone's personality, changes everyone for the worse, is like saying a card game or a board game would do the same thing. Or a football game. Or soccer. Or football, depending on where you're from. Baseball. Hockey. Um, rugby. You name it. If it's a sport, it gets the same response. Any activity does. The only reason I have brought up movies and video games the most here is, once again, like I said earlier, those are the ones that get the most flack for this kind of statement. But in reality, any activity, if it's an activity you've done, it can do that. And this has been psychologically proven, by the way. I'm not going off of a whim from this. Swimming, for example. Say you like to swim. You go swimming every day. You decide, hey, I'm getting good at this. I'm going to join a competition. It really is on you whether that changes you or not. Not the swimming, not the competition, you. Same aspect for movies or games, video games, or board games, or card games, yada yada, etc., etc. It's not those entertainment things that change you, it's you that changes you. And that's something that I feel like a lot of the world doesn't get. It bothers the crap out of me because I've been thrown that statement so many times in my life by peers. Not anybody I hang around now, but so many peers that I used to be around during high school, even during college, like while I would go to the campuses. So many people would say that I'd be like, yeah, okay, then why am I still the same derpy person I always have been? It's not true. And when it is true, that's on the person for being the idiot, not whatever they interact with. I mean, for heaven's sake, here's an example. A final example, that way I can close up soon, of why this is the case. I used to hang around, when I was in high school, I would actually hang around individuals who were part of the football team and part of the cheerleader squad. All of them were really good people, save for one. This one person would show up, be a prick, and leave. They were just there to progress, to get better. That's it. They weren't there for the game, they weren't there for the enjoyment of having to be there. They were just there to get better. There is proof in the pudding right there that it's not the entertainment that changes the person. It is the person. This is like kind of aligns with the idea of the statement of guns don't kill people, people kill people. This is basically the same thing as that, except very, very metaphorical. I hope that makes sense. If not, I am going to be talking about that um, phrase very soon. Tomorrow is, I think. If not tomorrow, at least soon enough. But either way, I am going to leave this here. So thank you guys for tuning into this video. I don't know. Do you guys agree with what I had to say? If not, that is fine. The, bear in mind, 
this is these are just my thoughts and my opinions on the matter based off observation observation and analysis but what are your guys' opinions did i miss some details you think if so let us know in the comments below i'm sure there are several other aspects to this kind of idea that have been missed if you have separate thoughts you're more than welcome to leave it down there below as well just make sure they are um user friendly to read please but with that being said i'm gonna leave this here thanks for tuning in this video guys if you liked it make sure to give the video a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you have not yet if you've already done both consider sharing out the video because we have so many discussion and rant videos on this channel by now and so many gaming videos that are supposed to be based off first time reaction or humor on here that may pique some people's interest who don't get to see them um just because of how the algorithm acts share out the videos and hopefully we can get some more views on all this more views means more compensation for us and it'll mean more videos in the future and more positive outcomes and more talking on the stupid topics that who, who knows what we can come up with but either way it would be very helpful and very much appreciated if you want to check out any other discussion and rant videos click the link on the side of my head over here um you'll find who knows how many at this point uh, or click link on the other side and you might be able to find something that suits your boat a little bit more but if you stay for this long hopefully this is the kind of thing you enjoy in the meantime i'm gonna head off thanks once again for tuning in this video guys and we hope to see all of you in another one catch you guys later